Welcome to this week's African Agri Overview, where we will be looking at the latest grain price movements in Zambia since it's an important supply to Africa, with a lot of uncertainties regarding El Nino at the moment. We also look at the latest poultry price movements. All in this week's episode, so make sure to stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Johnny van Amarwe and welcome to this episode of the African Agri Overview, made possible by Zematic Irrigation Systems. Zematic pivots and lateral move systems combine high quality components with exclusive structural designs and innovative features for a long lasting solution you can count on. Also make sure to contact our regular market analyst Jacques Pinar for more detailed reports on the African soft commodity markets. But with that said, let's take a look at what happened in the economy over the past week. We saw Brent oil prices continuing on its general downward trend with the latest price now on $78 per barrel. It also seems that OPEC is currently increasing production and will most likely increase it for the rest of the, this year, which coupled with a possibility of lower global demand can put pressure on the oil price. This could bring some relief in terms of fuel prices and inflation pressure during 2024. However, the conflict in the Middle East continues to keep prices on a higher level. The Kwacha unfortunately moved into the wrong direction over the past few months and is currently trading on 26.1 Kwachas per US dollar. This will also increase prices on the local markets as well. In the Zambian poultry market, we have seen day-old broiler prices decreasing to 13.43 kwachas per head, while day-old layers stayed on 17.67 kwachas. Layer cull prices, however, jumped to 69 kwachas, while live broiler prices increased to 102 kwachas per head. We also saw the average egg price increasing to 61.67 kwachas per tray, with most of these prices likely to stay on a higher level due to the weaker exchange rate resulting in higher demand. But with that being said, Jock will now tell us more about the latest developments in the grain markets of Zambia. Over to you, Jock. Thanks, Johnny, and all the best to all our viewers for 2024. Trust it will be a good year for all. We feel it is a good time to revisit the Zambia maize market. Zambia is an, an important supply to the region and lots of uncertainties with all the predictions around El Nino. Let's quickly recap our S&D forecast for the current marketing year, running from more or less May 2023 to April 2024. We have not made any changes since our last podcast in November. It remains a relatively tight balance sheet, but we feel Zambia have sufficient supply to carry them to the new crop despite expectations of continued informal exports, particularly to Malawi. Zambia has had a formal maize and maize meal export ban for quite some time, but unable to prevent lucrative informal exports. There is a good possibility exports to Malawi will exceed expectations. The Malawi government late December banned maize imports from Tanzania, citing the potential spread of maize fatal necrosis disease as the reason. This has taken a natural supplier to Malawi out of the equation. Observers indicate Zambian seed size was significantly higher than normal for the new crop to harvest mid-2024 due to attractive prices the past season. Question is, what impact could El Nino have? Weather forecasters expect the El Nino weather phenomenon should continue at least until mid-2024. It normally causes above normal rainfall in countries like Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya and Northern Zambia and below normal rainfall in countries like Mozambique, Malawi, Zimbabwe, South Africa and Central Southern Zambia. Green indicates above normal rainfall and brown below normal. Although rains were four to six weeks late in the Southern African region, Good precipitation was reported across the area since the second half of December. Our contacts in Zambia indicate perfect grain conditions for the northern region and normal grain conditions for the central and southern region. Early talk, a crop bigger than last season's 3.2 million tons likely 
if normal rainfall patterns continue. One observer even mentioned 4 million tons. However, it is early days and a dry spell February or March could still have a material impact on yields. This graph illustrates the Zambian maize price history. Since October, US dollar denominated prices almost moved sideways as indicated by the blue circle. However, in Kocha terms, prices increased by nearly 20% due to a weakening local currency. This graph illustrates the Kocha to US dollar exchange rate and the blue circle weakness since September last year. The Kocha depreciated by 25% during this time. Where is US dollar denominated prices heading short term? General market view, there is probably some short term upside which is likely to be driven by the expected increase in informal exports to Malawi. However, by March, green maize should become available in Malawi which usually slows demand for maize meal and limit price support for maize. The medium term price direction should be determined by the progress of the new crop. Crop expectations towards 4 million tons could see price pressure, while a crop closer to 3 million tons should be price supportive. Take note. The general view remains the region could be short maize this coming season, especially Zimbabwe, the DRC and Malawi. Next week we will discuss the Malawi maize market and the impact its expected shortfall could have on the region. Remember, quality information improves decision making. Contact us for more detailed tailored information. Thank you very much Job for sharing such valuable insights. These videos are made possible by Zematic Irrigation Systems. For those seeking more detailed information and comprehensive reports on Sub-Saharan African soft commodity markets, I encourage you to reach out to Job Pinar. I'm Dr. Johnny van der Merwe and thank you for watching.